Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys figure review. Now today I'm super excited to be taking another look at the Tech Suit Spider-Man except this version is the movie promo edition from Far From Home. Now first things first I want to say a huge thank you to Philip Liu the toy wizard from Toys Online HK and I also want to apologize to you guys for getting that whole pricing thing wrong on the previous video. The one that is cheaper than Sideshow Collectibles is not this version it's the red and black upgraded suit on Philip's website. The pre-order is actually cheaper than Sideshow Collectibles for that upgraded suit figure. This one's a little bit more pricey because it is an exclusive figure and also it's a lot harder to come by. So definitely do check out Philip's website if you want to pre-order any of the Far From Home stuff because he has them all up on his website for really decent prices. Either way, what we're going to do now is get all of the accessories that comes with this guy out of the box and take a look at everything he comes with. Alright, getting all of the stuff that comes with Spidey out of the box, you can see it's a much more slimmed down version of the previous Homecoming suit. Now the first thing we're going to look at is the newest piece, or the only real new piece in this set, being the Spider-Man Far From Home display base. Let me first say that I love the artwork on here with the Spider logo, obviously the MCU version, with this really nice sort of green pattern that sort of reminds me of Mysterio, or gives me those sort of Into the Spider-Verse vibes, and with them teasing the multiverse in this movie I guess that kind of works you can also see that there is a tower in the background there that looks like the Empire State Building I think you'll have to forgive me my geography isn't that good but uh, you can also see that it says Spider-Man on the front here with like a honeycomb pattern. It's not the metal nameplate, unfortunately. I would have loved to have had that, but still, it looks like we're going to be getting these for the rest of the Far From Home figures. And I am loving that this is the first one we're getting, being a classic red and blue suit Spidey. Now, let's take a look at the web wings. They are identical to the previous version that came with the tech suit from the previous film. And they do look really good. You can see that the magnets are in these black sections here, for those of you who don't have the figure. Because I'm sure a lot of people, this will be their first time getting an MCU Spidey. Spidey figure, and uh, what a way to start it because this figure is absolutely awesome. Now, he does come with a bunch of hands too. I have noticed a difference in terms of the web lines on here are a little bit lighter than the original ones. I don't know if that's to match the suit because the web lines on the suit aren't as dark as they were on the original hands, but they definitely do look the part. Now, there is a color difference between the hands and the suit, which you'll see when I get the figure itself out here, but it's not all that noticeable. They still do a really good job of mimicking the suit's texture. He also does come with a bunch of web accessories. This is the sort of funnel piece which you can can attach onto these various web pieces. This doesn't come with the new web design that they have where it sort of goes into his hand and sort of bunches up on the outside. I really like what they've done with that piece. These are just the classic sort of Spidey webs. And then he comes with a bunch of interchangeable eyes. These are a real pain to get in and out. You have to sort of wedge your fingernail in the edge and sort of pick them out. They are magnetic, but there's no tool included to remove them like Deadpool. I wish they had done that. They didn't do it with the first release and they didn't do it here, but they still look really good. They have a really nice sort of high gloss and a really awesome sort of honeycomb texture. I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera. You can just see it. It looks really awesome nonetheless. Now, unfortunately, we are obviously missing a Tom Holland head sculpt. I know it's going to upset a lot of people, but it's a way of sort of keeping that value there with the original Spidey. And then when you are picking up more Far From Home figures, you will obviously get a Tom Holland head sculpt to pop on this figure because obviously it will still work with this version. Either way, that's enough about the accessories. What we're going to do now is get the figure himself out here and take a look at that head sculpt. Now, you're probably wondering why I said head sculpt and that's because I wanted to start up here on the noggin you can see that there has been an improvement on the seam it's a lot cleaner on mine at least it might not be as clean on yours you'll have to let me know when you do get it but on mine it's a lot cleaner and it starts a little bit further back so when we do the comparison video you will see that the seam starts a little bit it starts almost down here on the original tech suit that I do own again I don't know if that's just mine or my new one's different there's a lot of variance between all of the different batches but still I think there has been an improvement made as for the suit itself, it looks just as good as it did originally. In fact, I think it looks better. I think the red is a little bit more vibrant here. We'll have to compare the two and see, but I definitely can see a little bit more vibrancy on the red itself. The rest of the outfit is pretty much unchanged from the original. The blue looks to be about the same. The feeling of the material is identical. The body underneath also feels the same. So it is, of course, the same figure. I don't know why anyone would expect something different, but there have been some minor improvements. Now, in terms of the body itself, I have discovered something recently because when I did my original one, it was a long time ago. It seems like there's a rubber appliance underneath here. You can see sort of a little gap here where it ends and then the arms are pegged in 
into it. So that's why it's got such a smooth finish on the torso. And you can see the little bit of ab definition in the middle there. So it's not as sort of sausage bodied as I thought it was originally. It definitely does have a little bit of definition. I still think though the advanced suit Spidey, some of the tech used on that could have been carried over, although a lot slimmer obviously for Tom Holland's build onto this Spidey or even onto the black and red suit because there were some improvements made that I think could definitely benefit the upgraded suit Spidey. Moving the camera down to the rest of the outfit, you can see that the legs are obviously just blue and they do have the red pattern down the bottom. Now, one thing that they have fixed over the previous version and thank God they did because it was driving me crazy every time I looked at that Spidey figure, the ankles would sort of eat the fabric. The fabric would slot into the ankles, but it seems like they've added a piece of foam or plastic or something to give it this really nice smooth boot look. And I love the way they've done that. That is a huge improvement over the previous version. And when we do the comparison video, you will see that obviously compared to the tech suit Spidey. Now he also does have some really nice texture on the bottom of his feet there. Obviously that's a carryover. There is nothing really new aside from minor improvements on the suit itself. But as I said, that comparison video really will show you the difference between this figure and the old one. All right, now doing a quick side-by-side -side comparison. This is by no means the full comparison. That is on the way, as I've said a bunch of times, mind you. But as you can see here, I think the one on the right, which is the older one, has a little bit more of an orangey, more muted color palette. And also you can see those ankles straight away. They are completely different. There has been an improvement made. You can also probably see at this distance or just a little bit, the seam on the top of the head. As I said, we'll do a far closer comparison in the video, the comparison video itself, which is coming up very soon. But for now, you can see the slight differences between these two figures. Now getting into the three cool and three annoying things about the new movie promo tech suit Spidey. The first cool thing is toe articulation. I love it when they do toe articulation on figures, especially Spidey figures. It's not something that you see a lot, but you're seeing it more nowadays, but you didn't see it a lot in the past. And I love that they're going ahead and including it on these Spidey figures. The second cool thing, and it has to do with the feet again, is the fact that they fixed the ankles. I love this new ankle design. There's no more eating the suit. I love that it's all nice and flush. It looks really, really good. The third cool thing is the fact that they include alternate web shooters. I know they did this with the original tech suit. I got them with mine, but it's cool that you can plug the web effect in. And also I forgot to mention them in the extension so I thought may as well mention them now but still it's cool if you are putting together a gang hood Peter Parker you can use these instead of the sort of semi not great quality ones that that set does come with. The first annoying thing about this Spidey is the interchangeable eyes. They are so incredibly difficult to remove from the head sculpt you feel like you are damaging the head itself so do be careful when you are switching them out on this Spidey figure. The second annoying thing is the color mismatch between the hands and the suit. You can see it very clearly here. This is a much lighter red versus the suit, which is a much darker red. They could have done better, especially after seeing the advanced suit Spidey, which had a material body and a plastic head. The third annoying thing is this bulge right here. You can see that there is stitching along this side. So I guess this is where the fabric overlaps and there's a little, of a little bit of a bulge there. It was on the original figure as well. It's not as noticeable, obviously, when you have his arms down by his sides and there's not a super white background behind it, but still it's a little bit unsightly. Just wrapping up on this movie promo edition Spider-Man tech suit figure. I think this is a really, really solid release by Hot Toys. I know technically we've already gotten it and it did rub a lot of people the wrong way. However, in my opinion, it exceeds over that original figure in two areas. First of all, it's a more slimmed down, just back to basics version of Spider-Man. I know you don't get the Tom Holland head sculpt. However, if you are getting any of the other Far From Home suits, you will be getting one. So you will be able to pop it on him. Also, it gives those who missed out the first time the opportunity to obviously go ahead and pick this one up. So that's definitely a good thing, especially for new collectors who might just have come into the game a little bit too late to get themselves an MCU Spidey. And this is a great classic version of that. Also, there are a couple of improvements over the previous one, namely the ankles, I think are a godsend. Thank the figure gods for them actually going ahead and reworking how the ankles work. I know that that also is probably gonna upset a lot of people who bought the first figure, but for me, I'm very impressed that they went ahead and did that because it's something that was driving a lot of collectors crazy. Also, the head seam, at least on mine, is a hell of a lot cleaner than the original one. And I'll show you in the comparison video how they really stack up up close. And it starts a little bit further back towards the middle of the head, not so far towards the front, so it's not as big of an eyesore. The color is also a little bit more vibrant, and you will see that in the comparison video again. So for those reasons alone, I think this figure is worth picking it up. And if you do want to go ahead and pick up the figure, hit up the link down in the description below to Philip Liu, the toy wizard from Toys Wonderland HK. The links are down there to his website, eBay, Instagram, and Facebook. You can message him on a 
bunch of different platforms. Pick your favorite and go ahead. You can either order it in stock right now or pre-order this figure along with any of the Endgame figures or any of the other Far From Home releases and whatever is going to be announced in the future at ACGHK and SDCC as well. So either way, that's about it for this video, guys. Check out Justin's Collector Group on Facebook if you want to come along and chat all things figures. Check out Mint and Steelbox Media on YouTube and the Mint and Steelbox Figure Podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.